In the early morning of May 15, 1986, Stephen Parr was stopped and detained by a Portland police officer. The officer stopped Parr because he suspected Parr was driving with a suspended driver's license. As the officer was stopping Parr, he noticed Parr and a companion in the car bend towards the floorboard and make furtive movements. The officer asked Parr to exit the car. Parr was searched and placed into the patrol car. The passenger was also removed from the car and searched. The officer then noticed a small red leather bag, zipped closed, and a blue nylon gym bag, also zipped closed, lying on the front floorboard. The officer removed both from the car and opened them. The leather bag was a narcotics kit containing syringes, spoons, cotton, and gram scales. The gym bag contained a sawed-off shotgun, a shotgun shell, and stolen mail. This week, we'll cover U.S. v. Parr, a Ninth Circuit case that helped establish whether or not placing a suspect in a police car is an arrest. I'm Steve Serbalik, and I'm a panel attorney with As Cops in Arizona. Oddly enough, even with everything found by the officer, Parr was only cited for unlawful possession of a firearm and driving while suspended. Although the officer seized the bags and their contents, Parr and his passengers were released from the scene. Several months later, Parr was arrested by federal law enforcement for the stolen mail recovered by the Portland officer. At trial, Parr asked to suppress the physical evidence seized from the car. He argued that the warrantless search could not be justified. The trial court upheld the search as lawful incident to Parr's arrest. The U.S. Court of Appeals for the Ninth Circuit disagreed. A few issues came up. One, although the Portland officer had probable cause to arrest Parr for driving suspended, the officer chose to issue a citation. Two, when the officer detained Parr, he did so by simply placing Parr into his car. The court found that other cases had established that detaining a suspect by calling a person out of a car and making them prone out at gunpoint was not considered a full custody arrest, something that's arguably much more restrictive than simply having someone take a seat in a patrol car. And because the officer didn't do anything to increase Parr's reasonable belief he was under arrest, like transporting Parr from the scene, the mere act of placing Parr into the patrol car was found to be a standard part of many traffic stops and did not rise to an arrest. Three, since no arrest was made, the search of the passenger compartment needed to be based on probable cause. A full custody arrest may have provided the officer the ability to perform a search incident to arrest in the passenger compartment of the vehicle, but simply detaining Parr and issuing the citation made the interaction closer to a routine traffic stop, a place where officers don't typically have the authority to perform a full search of vehicles or persons. Reasonable suspicion based on furtive movements and the presence of bags simply isn't enough to perform a warrantless search under the automobile exception to the search warrant rule. This case provides insight into when an officer might be able to search a vehicle or not. But the takeaway for today is that the court established that placing a suspect or driver into a patrol vehicle is not paramount to a custodial arrest. The fact is important because it allows officers an additional tool to use when trying to keep themselves in the public safe. Separating occupants of a vehicle, especially in suspicious circumstance, is sometimes a good idea. And placing one of the occupants into a patrol vehicle can help reduce the level of divided attention needed when an officer is waiting on backup or simply outnumbered. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like, follow, and turn on notifications. It really helps the channel grow. Be on the lookout for new videos. They come out every Sunday at 5.30 p.m. Arizona time. I'm Steve Serbalik. Thanks for watching and stay safe out there.